What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I will be showing you an idea for an automated phone screen tapper made out of Lego Mindstorms. So now I would like to talk about the building of this device, some of the reasoning behind the structure, and some of the limitations. Up here we have the drive motor and it is geared at a 4 to 3 ratio. This just allows for a wider range of speeds, allowing you to find the optimal speed to run it at. This arm is attached offset from the center of the gear. This allows this arm to essentially move back and forth like this, which then moves this whole pen fixture up and down, creating the tapping motion. It was designed that way because now the motor can be run in one direction versus having to be constantly run forwards and backwards. Ultimately, it makes the motion smoother. This block here is a fixture to hold the pen in place. This pen is one of those pens that has the stylus tip on the bottom, which is why it can tap the phone screen. This pen fixture is attached to the support block that you can see in here, which is also connected to the drive arms and the supports back here, holding everything up. There is also one of these support pieces on either side that prevents the entire device from moving back and forth this way and potentially falling over during operation. And there is also one of these supports on either side to hold up the tray that you would lay the phone on. And there is this back piece here so you can lay your phone against it. Now I would like to talk about the major limitation of this device. There is an upper limit to how fast you can run it for a variety of reasons. Due to the size of this gear, the pen moves a greater distance up and down than it really needs to, and if you run the device fast, the whole structure moves very violently. This causes the pen to hit the screen a bit forcefully, and the tap may or may not be registered by your phone. In addition, your phone could slide around on the tray. With that said, I think that the device is still capable of running at a fast enough speed that is practical given it is being used to tap a phone screen. Alright, now I'm going to show the operation in real time. Alright, so that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.